The Synopsys Optical Solutions Group is pleased to introduce Code 5 2023.03. In the 2023.03 release, there are improvements to design workflows, enhanced learning, and better interoperability. For improving design workflows, you can easily fit measured SAG data or a CAD surface to native Code 5 surface types with the SAG Fit utility. There are also several other new and updated Code 5 sample macros for optimization constraint sorting and fabrication support. Other updates facilitate faster operation of Code 5's macros using index database items and lenses with many pickups. The release also provides enhanced learning with a new example model library and an updated help system. Thirdly, there are enhancements to interoperability with light tools so you can analyze straight light from your Code 5 lens. Encrypted coatings and more robust apertures can be exported in the optical system file. Let's look at the highlights from this release. If you have surface SAG data or CAD surfaces, you can use the new SAG Fit utility to fit the surface to a native Code 5 surface. When using native surfaces, you have further flexibility and control to optimize your design. You can find this utility in the Edit menu, Surface SAG Fit. In Import Data, you can either open a SAG data file or sample an existing surface in your current lens to fit to. Then in Fit Surface, you can pick the surface type you would like to fit and define which terms you want to include for the fitting. The process is interactive and reports statistics to help you evaluate the adequacy of the fit. Once you are happy with the fit, move to Export Surface, where you can choose to apply your fit surface to an existing model or insert the fit surface as a new surface in your model. The prior release of Code 5 introduced the option to store constraint information from an optimization in the Code 5 worksheet buffer by going to the Automatic Design Output Exit Controls tab and selecting Save Active Constraint Data to Buffer and Save Weighted and Penalty Function Constraint Data to Buffer. In the Code 5 2023.03 release, we can now include a supplied macro called List Constraint Data to filter and sort this constraint information. This macro can make it easier to gain insight about the impact of your design constraints on the optimization. Access the List Constraint Data macro from Tools, Macro Manager, in the Sample Macros Optimization node. Several Code 5 sample macros under fabrication support have been enhanced to let you generate and plot data only over the defined aperture region. The updated sample macros include curvaturePlot.seq for plotting curvature attributes of a surface, SAGPlot.seq for a 2D SAG map of a surface, and SAGDifference.seq to measure the SAG departure of a surface from a reference surface. This enhancement also honors the lens apertures used for CA setting. Other updates facilitate faster macro execution, especially those that perform environmental analysis. A new keyword, ABS, is available for the Index of Refraction Database Item, AMD. When the ABS keyword is included, it returns the absolute value of the index rather than the signed index. Also, under the hood, there have been improvements in models with a large number of pickups. The Code 5 Example Model Library is a new resource for finding examples to quickly learn how to use specific features in Code 5. The Code 5 2023.03 release features 10 examples covering topics such as global synthesis for global optimization, beam synthesis propagation, setting up specifications with Spec Builder, and more. We plan to grow this library with each release for a more comprehensive set of examples. Check out the examples under the Code 5 Tools menu, Example Model Library. The help system in Code 5 has been revamped for the 2023.03 release. The new help system now uses an internet browser to display help topics. The help is still installed with Code 5, so no internet connection is necessary. You can access the help in Code 5 by going to the help menu, Code 5 help, or by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. 
When you see a Help button in the Code 5 interface, you can click it to launch the Help and be automatically taken to the relevant section of the Help. Additionally, by going to the Help menu, What's This Help, or holding the Shift button and pressing the F1 key, you can click on a field in the Code 5 interface and access the relevant Help section for that field. In the prior release of Code 5, you could save your lens as an optical system file and transfer it to Light Tools to perform additional stray light analysis. In this release, you can now transfer lenses that use encrypted thin film coatings. Additionally, lenses with hole apertures can now be exported and will be represented as an equivalent hole in the Light Tools lens primitive. As with any Code 5 release, class catalogs are brought up to date. In this release, the CDGM, Hikari, Hoya, Ohara, and Shot Glass catalogs were included. The Code 5 2023.03 release supports two licensing options, which you will pick from during installation. The Code 5 Legacy Licensing, which is the licensing used in prior Code 5 releases, is one option. If your host ID has not changed for this release, you will continue to use Code 5 Legacy Licensing. Code 5 2023.03 is the first Code 5 release to support host IDs valid for Synopsis Common Licensing, or SCL. For more, check out the release notes available on SolveNet Plus or in the Code 5 Help. The Code 5 2023.03 release includes new capabilities and enhancements to make Code 5 the most powerful lens design tool in your arsenal. The release is available now, so if you are an existing customer, you can update to the latest version today. Or, if you would like to try Code 5, please contact optics at synopsis.com to set up a 30-day trial.